Okay, so we're doing the power rule next. Take a look at the first example filled in for us. Notice what's happening here. It was two to the second power to the third power. So what happens is we, to write this out, we're saying two squared times two squared times two squared. When we repeat that multiplication and pull those apart, two squared really means two times two, yes? And we're doing that three times. So this is the first one, the second one, the third one. How many twos are we ending up with? That's how it ends up being two to the sixth power. Can you just multiply two? So let's do five to the third. Five to the third. How many times? Four times. And yes, you might be starting to see what the shortcut is, but we want these as proof sheets, so we're not going to just jump to the obvious yet. Okay, there's a lot of fives we have to write. There was the year I did this teaching algebra three periods. I wrote a lot that day. Oh, that's okay, what is our answer then? So it's five to the what power? So now we're gonna work backwards. We're given seven to the 12th power. So it's gonna look just like the fives. We need 12 of them. I think I wrote 13 of them. Okay, we could do the same exponents as here, or we could change it up. What if we did 7 to the 6th power times 7 to the 6th power? What would our original then be? 7 to the 6th parentheses. And what exponent would go here? 2 squared. What should we be putting here? Okay, I am not going to make you write out all these X's. But how many would there be if we were writing them all out? So this would be X to the 24. Yeah, she expects you to write 24 X's. Beck, I am recording for Riza. Sorry. She's getting okay. this conversation. <laughs> Let's write this one out. We've got three to the fifth. And Y to the second. We're not going to write all of these out, but we are going to regroup them. We have 3 to the 5th times 3 to the 5th times 3 to the 5th. And y to the 2nd times y to the 2nd times y to the 2nd. And what do we end up with? 3, 3, 51. Okay. How many 3's would there be totally if I had to write these all out? 15. And how many Y's? Six. So what are we doing with this last one that is way too big to write out? You're multiplying it. We are multiplying it. What's 20 times 32? 640. 640. Okay, write a general rule. Um, 20 times 32. 
I want you to write your own rule here, and I also want you to go back and compare this to the product rule that we did yesterday. How is this rule different from the product rule? 